This slide summarizes some of the most common commands you might need as you use the CHPC clusters. The next thing we want to do is copy our working 1D FTTD MATLAB code over to the supercomputer, so we don't have to write it from scratch. The next video segment will describe how you can transfer your code to the supercomputer depending on whether you're using a Windows computer, a Mac, or a Linux machine. You only need to watch the part of the video that is relevant to the type of computer that you're using.